a lag reinforcement schedule, folks. Brad and I are classic examples of these, <laughs> um, where basically the next response has to be different than the previous response in order to earn a reinforcer. That's just one type of lag reinforcement schedule. It just has to be different in some way, right? It could be a topographical response, whatever. But the idea is, is topographical response. That makes no flipping sense. It could be that the topography simply has to change in your response to earn the reinforcer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank I you. get talking fast. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks for the reinforcer. Yeah. Um, so um, I think this might take, come as a surprise, folks, but guess what? This is how you teach creativity. Go see Karen Pryor's research, by the way. Um, she's awesome. Karen, I hope you've signed up to follow us because we like you a lot. We do all sorts of clicking. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, your entire career has been reduced to clicking now. Um, that's just mean. Um, so No, but creativity is something you can actually teach. People think you can't, but all you have to do is say, perform a new response. You're going to earn a reinforcer when you do something I haven't seen before. You can teach it to non-humans, too. <gasps> wow, creativity in a non-human, unbelievable. It's fine if you understand what creativity really is. It's just behavior on a lag reinforcement schedule in which you don't want to see the same response ever again. <laughs>